Mindset of the Erdogan Regime in two minutes. On November 24, 2015, at the Turkey-Syria border, a Turkish fighter jet downed a Russian bomber jet. This was the first destruction of a Russian warplane by a NATO member since the Korean War. Turkey claimed that the Russian plane violated its airspace for 17 seconds over a stretch of 1.4 miles. Russia denied it. However, the U.S. sources confirmed that the Russian plane did violate the Turkish territory. On November 25th, Prime Minister Dovatula said the orders leading to the incident were given by him personally. The next day, President Erdogan said, if a similar violation happens again, Turkey would give the same response. He got a big applause from the village administrators visiting his palace. Yes, Erdogan has a thousand-room palace, and there he regularly convenes hundreds of village administrators from all around the country. You know, speaking to this audience is actually a therapy for him. In response, Putin called the incident a stab in the back. Russia stopped importing fresh produce and poultry from Turkey and banned all touristic visits to Turkey. No joke. Turkey lost billions of dollars even before the tourist season started. As the summer approached, Erdogan gradually changed his tone. On May 31st, he said, It's really sad that Putin gives up on Turkey due to the mistake of a pilot. Which pilot he meant? Turkish or the Russian? Doesn't matter. It was clear that he wanted to find a way to restore the relations. Eventually, on June 27th, Kremlin announced that they received an apology letter from Erdogan. Turkish government's position sharply changed after the letter. Deputy Prime Minister claimed it was the pilots who made the decision to shoot the Russian jet without any orders. If this sounds insane, then you name the next. Mayor of Ankara and some other officials asserted that the pilots got the order from Fatula Gulen to damage Turkey-Russia relations. No surprise, soon after, the pilots got arrested. So, this was the summary of an incident that brought NATO and Russia to the brink of a war and how Erdogan regime handles most of its problems. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter.